Hello YouTube bro, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic. And welcome back to Nerds Channel everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again and in today's video we're going to be doing a review, a celebration of similar review for one of another one of my favorite Christmas movies, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Uh, to me, this is just a childhood favorite of mine. My sister used to watch this when she was a, a kid and this was made the year when my sister was born so she's got a lot of time to, so she if you really think about it she has had so much time on her hands to go ahead and watch this movie whenever she wanted to though it came out like february march april may june july august september october november it came out 10 months after she was born so pretty pretty um it's, it's pretty obvious that she watched this all the time when she was a kid. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started talking about my thoughts on how the Grinch stole Christmas. So honestly, I would say of all Dr. Seuss's movies, um, I believe of the Dr. Seuss adaptations, the Grinch is the one that I really like. Um, that and Horton Hears a Who. Uh, as for, like, animated-wise, Horton Hears a Who is a is a really good story. It's really fun for an animated film. Um, I real I do enjoy the 1960s special, but the problem here is it's not an actual movie. So, I would probably put that, like, better than everything because it just, it just looks like the Dr. Seuss's book, like brought from the pages of his childhood, of the child book, of the children's book, except brought into this classic animation. Plus it came out the same year as the Jungle Book, though that doesn't really mean anything. It's just an interesting fact I like to say. Uh, but, but as a live action movie, it feels like a live action cartoon and I think that's what makes this movie work so well. Um, and from the set design to the way that the who people's faces look to the Christmas feel to it. It just works so well that it feels like Dr. Seuss's books, except brought to live action. And it's, and I think that's what makes it so great is that maybe you can be mean spirited, but that's kind of how it is. And I, and I personally really enjoyed that. So I enjoy the story of this movie. So obviously you gotta talk about the characters in this movie. Of course, like I talked with Elf, Jim Carrey with Will Ferrell's performance, Jim Carrey's performance as the Grinch is by far one of his best performances. Like I like him in The Mask. I like him in uh, what's other movies that he's done? I like him in Sonic the Hedgehog. I, there's there's certain movies I do like him in, but for me, The Grinch is his greatest role. And I think part of the reason for that is because I did not see Jim Carrey when playing this role. When you have an actor that can just disappear into the role and not just because it's kind of like it's kind of like with the superhero movies these days that everybody's been saying, basically saying that. When you cast a famous person to play a superhero, you don't see the char you don't see the character, you just see the celebrity. But when you cast no well, it's or when you cast someone like Halle Bailey to play Ariel, you don't see a random black well technically you do see a random black woman, but you see Ariel because she portrays it so well. And in this movie, I just saw the Grinch from beginning to end because he portrayed the character so well. And also from the makeup, he just did it so well. And it was just so good. One of his best roles. Along those same lines, the other characters in this movie are very good. I love Cindy Lou Who, who is just this person who has this moral compass of believing there is something more to Christmas than just presents. Which I think that I think that's another part of what makes this movie great is that it's a st it's not just a story about is that it's just it's a story about what it is, what it, what it, what Christmas truly is about. And that it's not about presents, it's about, it's about being with the people that you love. And the Grinch doesn't really, didn't really have anybody to love. And that's why Cindy Lou Who wanted to give him a chance after she heard the story about him. 
And so yeah, it's just like Cindy Lou, who is just such a kind and likable character. Uh, and then even when the, even when, like the, even the dad has some sort of arc where he's just focusing on getting the presents, and then when the Grinch steals all of the presents, the dad real the dad realizes what Cindy Lou who was trying to tell him. And that's a profound arc. And then even the Grinch has an arc where throughout the entire movie he hated Christmas because people made fun of him. And to be honest, he had a re he had reasons to do that. But he has an arc where he finally learns to love again. He finally learns to care. And he 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 stole Christmas, but then saves it at the end. And that's an amazing arc, in my opinion, at least, that is done for this version. So I love the characters in this movie. So yeah. So obviously I talked about this in the story, but the sets and makeup designs are fantastic. I hope that this movie won an Oscar for this because it's truly phenomenal. Like the way that they actually did all this makeup for Jim Carrey's Grinch, it's phenomenal. From the look of the Who Whoville people, it's great. I think in the way that everybody, I think in the way the whole town of Whoville looks, especially in this winter conception, it looks really good. And even like the shots of like the mountain and everything, the CGI is pretty good. So that's my thoughts on how the Grinch stole Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like, comment, and subscribe. Almost as you mean, it's down the about section over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.